Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome, welcome to the family. So today I have my skincare headband on and that is because I am going to be doing a skincare review and it's not just any ordinary skincare review guys because I'm going to be reviewing Fenty Skin. Hallelujah! Now I don't know about you but I have been so excited to try this skincare range ever since she announced it, to be honest. Normally you get a celebrity, they literally put their name on random packaging and it's like this celebrity and that celebrity and a lot of the time it doesn't follow through. With Rihanna, we know for a fact. With Savage, she followed through. With Fenty Beauty, she followed through. And so I can only assume that with Fenty Skin, she's gonna do the exact same thing and follow through. You know, she's not just somebody who wants to release a makeup line, release a skincare line. She seems like she's someone that actually wants to change the game, you know? And in a way, it's exciting for us consumers, but I can imagine that must be so much pressure because we're all expecting amazing things. So as usual, this is gonna be a very honest review. First of all, I'm gonna be talking about um, what is in the range, and then I'm gonna be doing a demo. I'm gonna be trying it on for the first time in this video, and then I'm gonna be reviewing it for you, you know, saying, how I feel about the product. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get stuck in. So I'm gonna show you what this looked like when it came in the post for me. It's literally just in cardboard. There's literally no plastics in this at all, which I think is good. And there seems to be a bit of a theme when we look onto the skincare products. It seems like she's making a deliberate effort to be eco-friendly as well, which is always, always a thumbs up. So this launch consists of three products and she's saying these are your skin starters, essentially. So I'm assuming these are the three products that she thinks you can put them on and you're kind of good to walk out the door. Step one, she's got wash your face with a cleanser. Step two, she's got smooth away with the pore perfection. And step three, she's got save your face with sun protection, which is great. I feel like sun protector, I always bang on. Everyone needs sun protection. You have a lot of melanin in your, in your skin or not, everyone needs sun protection. So I love that she's gonna make sun factor and sunscreen super cool. And what I find really interesting, she's made all three of the products multi-purpose. So with the cleanser, she's made, it's a cleanser and a makeup remover. With the uh, toner, it's a toner and it's a skin serum in one. And then with the sunscreen, it's a sunscreen and a moisturizer in one. So she's made sure that all of these products are two in one products. If these products work and they do what they say they do, it cuts down the products that you need for a morning routine quite significantly. Every product is oil free, gluten free and vegan, which is amazing. And she's made all the products so that they're under $35 and less. So that's around under 30 pounds. So all of her stuff is gonna be affordable. Okay, so let's have a look at the packaging, shall we? So first up, we have the Total Cleanser. So it said $25, which I'm gonna assume is about 20 pounds for this. All of the products are amazing price points as well. And you simply twist it and then the product comes out. And then to close, you simply twist it again. Now this one is a two in one toner serum combo. And again, with the packaging, it's a twist top. So you just twist it and then to close, you just twist it again. Loving the packaging so far. These kind of twist caps are super, super easy. And yeah, I love that you don't need a lid. Last step is the Hydrovisor, which is the sunscreen and the moisturizer in one. It's SPF 30. So with the Hydrovisor, I absolutely love this packaging. It comes with a refillable tube, so you just pop it in and you can twist it up and down to use it. And when it's finished, you can just order a new tube. Okay, so now that we've looked at the products, we've looked at the packaging, it's time to test these bad boys out and have a look at the ingredients. <laughs> okay, so for the Total Cleanser, it's a two-in-one cleanser and makeup remover that removes oil, dirt, and pollution. It's supposed to purify pores, fight shine, and is oil-free. Now, what it has in it is Barbados cherry, which is apparently very good for antioxidant properties, and it's very potent in vitamin C, even more so than an orange. It's also got ginkgo biloba to help control the oil, clarify the skin, green tea and fig, which are both rich in antioxidants, and quince, a rare fruit with minerals to help condition the skin. Wowza. It's got a really nice foam to it. It doesn't overly foam, but at the same time, you can really feel it working. Okay, so now that I've washed um, the cleanser off of my face, 
it feels like my skin feels amazing. It feels so soft, smooth. I don't know if you can see a difference, but it feels it feels great. It feels really, really good. Um, but it's not drying. Like if I didn't put a cream on or anything at the like right now, I wouldn't feel like my skin was super dry. But it's two in one toner serum combo that claims to target pores and improve the look of dark spots, brighten, smooth, and fight shine. And it's called fat water because the formula is so thick. The unique texture means that you can apply it by your hands, so you don't need cotton pads. For the ingredients, it has niacinamide, which is a form of vitamin B3, helps reduce dark spots and even the skin tone. It also has that Barbados cherry, Australian lemon myrtle and witch hazel water. And last but not least, we have the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer and SPF 30 Sunscreen. It's a two-in-one SPF and moisturizer that defends and brightens the skin while reducing the look of pores. It's a pink tinted cream and it literally smells amazing, by the way. It makes your pores smaller, it reduces fine lines and makes your wrinkles less visible. Wowza. So it has in here Kalahari Melon, which is a type of watermelon that is rich in antioxidants and vitamins, which helps hydrate. It also has that niacinamide, it has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera to help hydrate, soothe and condition the skin. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like after I've used it. And if I don't say so myself, I think it's looking very very good it's looking radiant um that sunscreen and moisturizer combo is just a sick joke like you would think genuinely that i just had a facial or something like that's how good my skin looks but that's actually how it feels as well it feels like i've had a facial my skin feels amazing it's kind of got that nice like you know when you've had a facial and your skin's got that like beautiful kind of, I don't know, it's got that nice feel to it. I, 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 I just don't know how to describe. But what I do know is that my skin feels amazing. If I'm now to put makeup on top of that, I know that my skin would look fantastic. Literally got a pregnancy glow and I'm not pregnant, like genuinely. And I can't, I can't say that they're worth it enough, to be honest. All of these products, they're all under 30 pounds, as I've said. The only complaint that I have is that she didn't release it sooner, to be honest. <laughs> Where have you been, Fenty Skin? Where have you been? Personally, I'm really looking forward to her releasing some form of eye cream, her releasing like a face mask or a sheet mask. Um, I just can't wait to see what she comes up with, to be honest. I think this is just, she's just taken skincare to a whole, a whole new level. Am I gonna buy them when they run out and replace them? Uh, yeah, 100%. I just think when you're looking at skincare, you have to think of three things. What it has in it, like what's it gonna do for your skin, the ingredients and stuff like that. Price point, you want vitamin C for your skin. You can have an 80 pound vitamin C and then you can have a 10 pound vitamin C. And then thirdly, how it makes your skin feel. So how does your skin feel and look afterwards? Does it look good? Does it feel amazing? For me, those are the three things that I think about when I'm reviewing or buying skincare. This ticks all of those boxes massively like there's not even a question about it if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below i think i've covered pretty much everything but if you did have questions let me know go fenty skin i literally i can't stop looking at my skin and if you like that video make sure to check out some of my other ones and don't forget to subscribe see you later bye